first tonight, to succeed in business, it helps to have a discerning eye for big trends. For example, anyone who invested in the horse-drawn wagon industry in 1900 probably felt pretty good about it until automobiles exploded in popularity just a few years later. But there are a few consumer goods that defy trends. They sell well for decade after decade with just modest changes along the way. And in that group would be a food that never goes out of style. Amid the hills of southern New Hampshire sits the town of Peterborough. Anyone looking for a quintessential New England setting will find it here. The mills that once drove the Peterborough economy are gone, but people do still make things here. In this case, chocolate. Not just any chocolate, high-end chocolate made with great care from ingredients of exceptional quality. We've got to have this philosophy. All it takes um, to get someone to buy our product is for them to taste it. Vicuña Chocolate was founded in 2014, and after three years, the owner decided to sell. All right, so just the brownie? Just the brownie. Sure. The 436, please. Two guys who'd grown up here, Nate Morrison and Casey Goodrich, were right. interested. Yeah, so the business came up for sale, and we took a meeting with the previous owner and started going through some of the numbers, and I was like, oh, there's, there's some untapped potential here, um, and th this would be a great, you know, project to take on. Morrison and Goodrich made an offer. It was accepted, and just like that, they owned and were running Vicuña Chocolate. About that name, a Vicuña is an animal similar to a llama or an alpaca. It's found in mountainous parts of South America, and South America is home to some of the superb cacao beans used in these products. So this is basically cacao in its purest form. Vicuña chocolates are made from scratch right here with ethically sourced cacao beans and pure cane sugar. They contain no fillers, no additives. The bars are the heart of the business, but New Hampshire Magazine proclaimed the Vicuña brownie the best in the state, all of which makes the owners popular around here. I go for a haircut, go to the dentist, doesn't matter where I go, they're always like, hey, you're the one that owns the chocolate shop, right? Like, did you bring us samples? And now, you may be thinking, these guys look pretty young to be running a business. Picking up the phone, calling, you know, a, a natural food store, hey, carry our product. Um, I usually actually don't mention how old I am. Nate Morrison and Casey Goodrich are both 18 years old. When they bought the business, they were 17 and heading into their senior year of high school. And I was like, no, that's crazy. Why would two 17-year-olds go and buy a chocolate factory. How would that even work? You know, we're still in school. Well, it has worked. Vicuña has its challenges, but it's profitable and will sell 15 to 20,000 bars this year. Pretty impressive, considering when the owners get invited to a business event with a social hour, they're not old enough to drink. Yeah, we're, uh, we have a little networking uh, group in town, and we just visited the new brewery, and, you know, I was like, I can't try any of the beers, but, you know, anyway. The goal now is what you'd expect from most entrepreneurs, to create new products, expand into untapped markets, grow the business. And if you're thinking, wow, what could be better than running a chocolate-making business? People joke, you know, you ever get sick of chocolate? No, I, what I have gotten sick of is all the other stuff we have here, you know, the cookies, the brownies, it's like, ah, oh, it's too much. Uh, too much when you work there, not too much when you're just visiting. <laughs> right, right. You were just telling me that you left with a couple of brownies. Yeah, of Devin, course. our videographer, and I each got a brownie, each bought a brownie, and we said, well, these are so big because they were hefty. We mm -hmm. said, well, we'll eat half of it and save the rest for dinner or tomorrow, or whatever. They were, those brownies were gone in about 20 minutes. I'd like to personally thank you both very much for bringing one back for me. Yep. That was really nice yep, of you. Yeah, we're looking out for you. That's Interestingly sarcasm. enough, Nate Morrison, the, the co owner with the glasses, has another business. Vicuña is not his first business. He started a lawn mowing business a few years ago, still runs that as well. So just out of high school, two months out of high school, two businesses going on. He's not going to college. He's staying in business. He is totally focused on entrepreneurship. No need for college. He's clearly very ambitious. And the other half of the story, Casey Goodrich just left for college a couple of weeks ago. So he's helping to run Vicuña now from college in Montana where he's a freshman. But he's still involved, still, still helping Still involved, out. still doing online stuff, still, you know, involved from 2,000 miles away. Okay, good for them. Yeah. <laughs>